All right, guys, it's part three. I have 35 minutes on my phone. I'll talk for three minutes, and I'll, the remaining five minutes will be my final part. And you guys will w enjoy the show in a good, I don't know, 45 minutes from now, around there, 15 minutes from now. I oh, you really so interesting. Yes, you better enjoy this series. Watch Kai goes, once I'm king, guys, I'm taking off to the throne of my wife, and you're going to be left behind. You're not going to be saved, man. And, and all, all those Oscars and are lucky. They're going to be famous movie stars. They're going to be part of that amazing billion-dollar budget movie. Obviously. Nine eighty million dollar budget movie. You know what I'm saying? Peter Jackson, he's chosen. He'll be lucky. He'll be my chosen director. He'll be my executive producer, my co-writer, my, and, and, my, and my director. Obviously, he'll be the boss of my movie. And he'll be directing my last one's movie project. And he'll be experiencing that buzz, that worldwide buzz of me, VJ. <laughs> the world tour. He's gonna, he's gonna be, he's gonna, he's gonna be wealthy. He's already rich, obviously. He's, he's gonna be richer. He's gonna make his three hundred plus million dollars from my movie, yeah, man. As I told you, zero point six percent of thirty three billion dollars is like one ninety eight two hundred million dollars. So Peter Jackson's gonna make like his his, his three hundred million dollars from my movie. My guess is Peter Jackson will make about three thirty million around there from my movie around there. He'll make maybe two thirty million in royalties. Because chances are I'm gonna. Chances are more than 700 million people buy a movie. Probably about 800 million, 900 million. So Peter Jackson might make maybe 340 million for my movie. 340 million dollars will make. Right. Yeah. I'm going to have all my actors' salary public on my website. You know how the pro, the pro sport teams, all the salaries, all the salaries are, are public? Yeah, I'm going to have, because you guys, because you guys are, are, are the ones what? Because you guys are the ones buying my movie, it's fair that I make the, the Hollywood the Hollywood actor salaries public. You see what I'm saying? Just like just like for the pro sport teams, the reason why they make the pro athletes salaries public is because the fans are the ones buying, paying for all the tickets, everything. And that's why the, the the companies they make their salaries public. Obviously. Hey, we want to know how much you're paying your act your your players. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get I'll make my salaries public for you all to see. So you, you for Zayas, you're gonna see all the salaries listed. All, all the major, all the minor ones and major actors, you're going to see all their salaries. You know what I'm saying? All their salaries, obviously. What? 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 Oh, my God, man. Sorry about that. Someone was calling me. It's really annoying. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make my salaries public on my website. So, all the major actors, all my major stars for Zanus, and, uh, and the minor characters, their salaries will all be listed on my website. You guys will see how much I'm paying them, obviously. You guys are going to see how much I'm paying them when you watch the documentary. But for the documentary, I'm only going to show glimpses of the contract, sign the contracts. I'm only going to show, I'm going to tell my the doctor, look man, only film, only film me signing the major stars. You don't have to film the minor characters. Because the minor characters are, are not really my stars. Just film the, ma the my major stars and you have the, you're going to see the credits like $8.9, $4 million, $250,000 royalty checks, $60,000 commercial money. You know what I'm saying? Two thousand dollar gift card, because the two thousand dollar gift card is part of the contract, and 0 0.01, 0 0.02 percent of the profits. Holy shit! These actors signed a massive deal. Yeah, they signed a massive con. The biggest the actors, the, the contracts the act the Zanus actors are signing, is the biggest consistent uh, uh, consistent salary contract ever uh, ever made in Hollywood. As no movie has ever paid all those actors that kind of money. It's in Hollywood. In Hollywood, how it works is only one or two actors make a lot of money, and everyone else gets shittier money. Which, for my movie, all the Zanes actors are getting their consistent millions. You see what I'm saying? They're all making a lot of. They're millions. They're making a lot of money, man. The actors for Zanes. And Zanes is the only movie where I'm willing to sacrifice some of my money. For Zanes, for Zanes, I'm going to be going over one percent. I'm going to be going like one point one point zero eight percent, one point eight percent around there for Zanes. Because I'm paying all my seven team as well as um, all the, all my major stars a piece. I'm giving them all a piece of the royalties. And so I'm going to go a bit over what? 
I'll me and VJ will make, I don't know, 59.4, 59.3% will make. Instead of 60% for, 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 for the movie profits. It's still pretty much 60%. I'm willing to sacrifice my money. That way I can give the John Boyega and all pieces of profits. That way they're not angry. Because I know if I give like all the, those big, all those A's actors a piece of profits, John Boyega, Von Joji, and, and Danielle Manette and Aaron Garner might be pissed off. The actor for Sirius Eli Cornelius might be pissed off. You see what I'm saying? Hey, are we going to get a piece of that too, Ivan? I'm saying they might be pissed off. Hence, so If you want John Boyega and Yvonne Joji and Ariana Grande to work hard for you, and Danielle Manette, give them a piece of profits. That way they destroy, they completely destroy the role. And they work harder for you because they know they're going to make more, they know they're going to make a lot of money off, off, off the profits. A nice like $5 million or whatever it is in royalties. <laughs> Excluding their nice eight-put armor side. They know they're going to make a lot of money. That's why give them a piece of profits. That way they work hard for you. See what I'm saying? That way they work hard for you, obviously. You're going to see all their salaries listed, obviously. I'll also list my seven team salary too. I'll show you how I'll tell you, I'll show you guys how much I'm paying my seven team. So you guys will know how much I'm paying John Favreau, Dave Filoni, and my other five guys. Whereas the crewmen, I don't have to show them their salary, obviously. The crewmen, the crewmen and all of them, I'm not gonna post all their salaries. No. Only the seven team, the actors, and that's it. So the seven teams the seven team salary will be listed on my website. And the, and the actor's salary will be listed on my website. That way you guys can see how much I got paid. I don't have to do that. We'll see what happens. I can do that. That way you guys know how much I'm paying them. And then once all these Hollywood actors see how much I'm paying them, obviously. I might not do that, though. I might not do that. Because I don't want the Hollywood actors seeing how much these, I'm paying these other actors. Because some of them might be pissed off. Hey, you're paying him more than me. And I'm saying something because I'm saying. Because when I sign all the Zayas actors, I'm going to send them in one by one. I'm not going to have all of them in the boardroom. No. You never, never do that. So when you sign a contract, it's 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 one it's one on one with you and the what, you and the what, it's it's one on one. You never ever sign contract with a bunch of actors in the same room. No, otherwise some actors can get pissed off. Hey, you're paying him more than me. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Sign the actors one by one when you when you when you when you bring them into the boardroom. You sign a Von Jody and all of them one by one. That way you bring them into the boardroom. Seems like Otherwise some of them can be mad. John, like, so Sapo, I'm. Um, Andy Circus might be pissed off. Hey, you're paying John Baiga more than me, and I'm bigger than him. Yeah, you're bigger than him, Andy Circus, but you don't contribute as much to the role. And that's why I'm not paying you as much. Because you're an ace actor, I'll still pay you a nice like seven point eight million. That's good enough. As you made one million for fucking Lord of the Rings, and I'm giving you a nice zero point zero one percent of the profits, and you're gonna make a lot of money. You're, you're making pretty much about the same amount of money as John Baiga. You see what I'm saying? You're paying these Jamal and Sumo on me, and I'm worth more than him. Yeah. You're worth one him, Annie Circus, but Cassius is, a, is more of a major character than Job. As Job is a pot. Job is a major character, but he's not as major as Cassius as Antonius. That's why I'm not paying Annie Circus as much money. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to pay him as much money. I'm not paying him as much money, but I'm but, but I'm still going to pay him a rich salary. 7.8 million dollars is a good salary for Annie Circus. And I'll pay him a nice 0.01% of the profits. That's good for him. He'll make a nice 5 million in profits. Andy Circus. It's a good paycheck for him. Five million, six million in profit, five point five million in profits he'll make. Andy Circus. Four million, five million profits he'll make. That's a good paycheck for Andy Circus, you know what I'm saying? Hence why I don't think it's a good idea. I'm not gonna make my salaries public. There's no point of doing that. You guys will see how much I'm paying them in a documentary. Because because I don't want the actors to be some of the actors to be angry. It's because some of the actors might get pissed off. Hey, you're paying him more than me, man. Like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, there's some people who can get jealous of that stuff. They can get jealous of, of, of the salary structure and all that stuff. Hence why I, I think it's best. Okay, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have, I'm not going to display my salary. I, I think I'm not going to do that. As companies don't do that, there's no point of doing that. I'm not going to display the salaries. I don't have to do that. But you guys are going to see how much I'm paying all my seven team and the actors when you see the documentary. By the time the actors see the documentary, the, the movie project is, is, is now over. And it's just, it won't be as big of a deal. Okay, the movie now ended... You, the actors will know how much these actors got paid, obviously, but the movie, the, the red carpet already happened, the journey now ended. See what I'm saying? So, it's, so it's, it won't be a big deal. Whereas if I post the salaries during the first year, the second year when I sign the actors, these actors are going to log into my website and they're going to what? They're going to see how much I'm paying all the other guys. They might get, it, they might be a bit pissed off. You see what I'm saying? They might be a bit pissed off, obviously. Yeah, man. Especially for the Great Escape, for the Great Escape, if I post if I if I post the salaries obviously, and then, and 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 John Kazenzi and 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 what if and 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 Javier Bardem, 
the B-list actors who are the couples in my movie, obviously, and the, you know what I'm saying, the other couples and the other small East actors, when they see how much I'm paying guys like Keanu Reeves, Ben Affleck, and Scarlett Johansson, they might be pissed off, like, what the fuck, man, you're paying them, the Ivan's paying these actors way more money than how much he's paying us, you know what I'm saying, he's giving them 0 0.3, he's giving Keanu Reeves 0.3% of the fucking royalties, he's giving Scarlett Johansson and Ben Affleck 0 0.1%, they're gonna make their 25, 30 million dollars, and Keanu Reeves is going to make his 80, 90, 100 million dollars, and they're going to, they might be a bit pissed off, obviously. You see what I'm saying? We're, we're only making our 0 0.01%. We're making our 5 million. We're making a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how much the fucking Scotch or Hats and all they're making. Yeah, they might be a bit pissed off. We're only making our 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 million dollars in royalties, 9 million dollars in royalties, and Scotch or Hats and all they're, are making their fucking 30 million. You know what I'm saying? And Keanu Reeves is making his fucking what? His like 70, 80, 90, 100 million dollars in royalties. They might be a bit pissed off, obviously, yeah. Hence why I will not make the salaries public. To prevent to prevent something something like that from happening, I will not make the salaries public. Keep it private, obviously. I'm gonna sign all those actors for Great Escape one by one, obviously. But a high chance, there's a high chance of what? Guys like John Cazenzi and what? And 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 and, and John Cazenzi and there's some there's a high chance guys like John Cazenzi and what? And and Pe um, Paul Bendy and Javier Bardem and, and the and the base actors might ask Keanu Reeves how much Ivan offered them. Hey Keanu Reeves, you know what I'm saying? I I I I I I you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't I I I I don't I don't mean to ask you this, but how much did Ivan pay? How much is Ivan paying you, man? Because they're curious. You know what I'm saying, how much did Ivan pay you, man? Keanu Reeves is like, oh, I prefer not to tell you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's like, I prefer not to tell you. It's none of your business. You know what I'm saying? No, please, man, just tell me, man. How much is Ivan paying you, man? Is he paying you more than me, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, I, yeah, Ivan offered me $13 million and gave me 0.02% of the royalties, which is like eight, seven, eight million dollars in royalties. You know, that, that's a nice deal. That's like a $21 million deal. And Keanu Reeves is like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did Ivan offer you more? Yeah, yeah, Ivan offered me more. You know what I'm saying? How much is he paying you, Keanu Reeves? You know what I'm saying? Keanu Reeves is like, look, man, I'm not going to tell you, man. It's none of your business, man. I don't, I don't want to hurt, I don't want to hurt your feelings, man. You know what I'm saying? He's like, "Come on, man, tell me how much, how much, how much are you paying him? How much, how much is he paying you, man?" You know, I don't know. I don't know. I even offered me for twenty-seven million dollars salary. You know what I'm saying? He get, he offered me a twenty point hour dollars bonus. He, he offered me a ten million dollar uh, filming post filming bonus, and a one point five million one point five million dollars worth of the merch. Like, holy shit! He's you're making like sixty million bucks. Yeah, and he also offered me zero point three percent of the profits, which is like seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred million dollars in royalties. <laughs> And the actors are like, and you just, John Cassensi and, and Paul Bunny might be offended, obviously. They might be offended, obviously. Holy shit, Ivan, Ivan's paying you way more than how much you pay, he's paying us. Yeah, in every in every company you have that's how it works, man. You have a lot you have you have you have you have you have a hierarchy. The big, big people make the most, obviously, and you have the other the middle people who make a lot, but they make way less. You have to have balance. I can't pay I can't pay John Cazenzi and Paul Bain all in the kind of money I'm paying kind of reason. No, I can't afford it. You have to have balance. You pay three of the big AS actors a lot of money. And then the small AS actors, you pay a lot of money, but you pay them way, way less. And the biggest actors in the rising stars, you pay them way, way less. But you pay everyone a lot of money. That way your company beats out Hollywood. You see what I'm saying, You see what I'm saying, I know what I'm doing. Hence why I will not have the salaries be public. I changed my mind. I'm not going to have the salaries be public on one because I don't want these actors resenting each other. Some people, some people could be angry. Could be angry. You know what I'm saying? They, trust me. Some Hollywood. There's a reason why in Hollywood, most what when actors sign contracts, it's usually one on one. They don't sign. They don't sign actors all together. No, they sign them one by one. Because because some actors can get pissed off. Oh, you're paying this actor way more money than me. You know what I'm saying? People could 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 could, 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 could get angry, man. Trust me, they can get angry. They, the the kind of money, um, the the, the um, if, if they're making a lot of money, obviously. You know what I'm saying? High chance, what? Yeah. Paul Bettany might ask Scarlett Johansson, but not like, hey, I'm, how much did I even offer you, man? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Paul Bettany, yeah, I, yeah, I signed a big con. I signed a fat. He offered me a, he, I, I, even, I even offered me a deal of a lifetime, a lot of money, man. How much is he, pay, how much is he, how much is he paying you, Ben, man? You know what I'm saying? Ben's like, I, I prefer not to tell you, man. I don't want to hurt your feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like, Come on, Ben, just tell me, man. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I even offered me 11.5 million, and he, he offered me two fifty thousand dollars check for the posters, and he offered me. 0.01% of the profits, which is like four or five million dollars in royalties. Ben's like, oh, that's a nice contract. You know what I'm saying, how much is he paying you, Ben? You know what I'm saying, and Ben's like, yeah, I know. Ivan offered me 30, 37 million dollars. 
for the bonuses. He offered me forty six million dollars worth of bonuses and salaries. And uh, and and, and I'm saying he offered me uh, uh zero point one percent of the profits, which is like twenty five thirty million dollars in in, in in profits, for thirty five forty million dollars in profits. Depends how much the movie does, obviously. And, and, and if anything, the moment he tells J uh, Paul Benny that. Paul Benny might resent him, and he might be a bit jealous. Like, what the fuck, man? You, you, man, you guys are striking it rich. Like, yeah, we're striking it rich, but we're not making the kind of money you're making, man. Fuck Ben, you guys are lucky, man. Ivan's paying you a lot of money, man. He pay, he offered you guys a fat contract, man. A deal of a lifetime, yeah. You know, what I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying, yeah. And chances are, guys like Paul Benny, and what, and 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 and, and John Skazansky and Javi Bardem might be a bit, uh, might give him a bit of that dirty stare. Fuck. Ben Affleck's lucky. He signed that massive deal with, with, with Ivan for, for his Great Escape movie. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. They're making a lot of money. As Ben Affleck and Scott Johansson are going to make about 75 to like $80 million for my movie around there. If they make $30 million, they'll make about $77 million. They're going to make... Yeah, Ben Affleck and Scott Johansson are going to make like... Yeah, 70, 75, 80 million, 82 million for my movie around there. And salary and bonuses and the profits. Whereas Keanu Reeves is going to make his like 140, 160 million dollars for my movie. One Around there he'll make for my movie. 160, 140 million dollars he'll make. Just depends on how much he, he'll make like, I don't know, 70, 80 million in royalties. But he might even make 100 million in royalties. Just depends. How much he's, most likely 100 million he'll make. He'll make like 160 million dollars Keanu Reeves for my movie. That's why Keanu Reeves. I'm gonna tell Keanu Reeves, Keanu Reeves. I recommend you don't tell the actors how much I how, how much I offered you, because they might get a bit pissed off and they might they might resent you. You see what I'm saying? Don't worry, Ivan. I won't tell them. Just, Keanu, Keanu, K, K, Scarlett, Ben Affleck, Keanu Reeves. Keep your salaries between yourselves. Don't go around telling, bragging, telling the other actors how much you're getting paid. Otherwise, they might some of them might get a bit pissed off and they might resent you. You see what I'm saying? Especially the biggest actors, and and the rising stars who are gonna be in my movie and the small A's actors. Don't tell them. Um, you can tell them if you want to, but I recommend you don't because they, they might resent you. And they might be jealous and all stuff, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's why there's a reason why me and VJ, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell VJ, VJ, I recommend we don't tell we don't tell the actors or anyone how much we made for our movie. That way they, they, they don't resent us. So John Falcon did when he asked me, I have VJ, how much did you make for the movie? I'm like, I prefer we made a lot of money. Billions, you know what I'm saying? How much did you make? I prefer not to tell you, John. I don't want to hurt your feelings, you know what I'm saying? Because like, if, if I tell John Dave the kind of money I made for my movie, they're gonna they might be a bit jealous, man. I think you're fucking lucky, man. They have the keys; they're making their fucking tens of billions. Yeah, and that's why I don't tell them to keep because people can keep, people get jealous about that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm bragging a lot on on this channel, when when, when I'm king and I'm in the public eye, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna brag about my wealth. No, I'm not gonna like when someone asks me how much I'm not gonna tell anyone how much I made off my book. The only person I'm going to tell how much I made off my book is VJ. Hey, VJ, I'll, this is how much I made. But I'm not, VJ, I don't want us bragging, telling people how much, how much money we made off the book. No, let's keep it to ourselves. It's good to stay humble. It's not good to be cocky. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rub it in your face, obviously, when I live my life, obviously. But I'm, it's good to stay humble and not be cocky, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I might ask Keanu Reeves. Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell okay, okay, Ben... K Canvas, K Scarlett Johansson, you know what I'm saying? You guys are happy you signed this mass amount of $80 million contract, one sixty million dollar contract. Keanu Reeves, I recommend you don't tell, don't tell Paul Bettany, don't tell what? Don't tell John Cazanzi, don't tell uh, what? Don't tell. If they ask you how much money I offer you, I, I think it's best you keep it to yourself. That way you don't, that way they don't, that way they don't get angry and, 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 and they don't resent you and, and, and they don't get jealous. Get jealousy and crazy, you see what I'm saying? Because some people can 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 get jealous about about the salary pay structure. Hence, why I recommend, even though I'm paying Johnson's NC a lot of money, all of them, it's nothing about how much money I'm paying Keanu Reeves and all of them. I recommend you don't tell Johnson's NC them how much I'm paying you. See what I'm saying? But Johnson's NC is still making a lot of money. Johnson's NC will make I don't know, like twenty. He's gonna make like his twenty one. Is twenty one million dollars from him. He's still making it. He still signed a fat contract, but it's not the kind of money I'm paying the other guy. You see what I'm saying? He still signed a massive contract. He doesn't make twenty one million dollars in Hollywood. He got his thirteen million dollars salary, and he got his what, like I don't know, eight million dollars in bonuses, which is twenty one million dollars. He still made a lot of money. He's walking away with what I don't know. Johnson Johnson will walk away with what about a ten million dollar check in his bank after taxes, the rates, and his agent. 
A nine, or walk away with a nine million dollar check in his bank around there. A nine million dollar. You also have the rates, right? He'll walk away with like a nine million dollar check in his bank bench is NC. Uh, Johnson's NC. He's a rich salary, obviously, but it's nothing compared to how much Keanu Reeves and we're making. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I recommend you don't. Just like in the pro sport teams, for the pro sport leagues, I guarantee you, when the big stars get paid the, 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 the big chunk of the money, some of the actors get are some of the uh, players are a bit jealous. All oh, this this guy's a star player. They're paying him his nice 10, 8, 12, 20 million dollars, 30 million dollars, I'm saying 15 million dollars, and we're making our 1.52 million dollars. And we're average players. Yeah, some players, I guarantee pro sport athletes. I guarantee you a lot of pro sport athletes envy the what the star players. Because they're they're the ones who are making all the dough. They're the star at they're the star player the star players of the league. You see what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're the star players of the league, yeah. But in but in the pro sport teams, the, the, the players' salaries are public, hence the players know how much all these players are making, you see what I'm saying? But that's how it works in, in every business. All the all the what? All the big stars, the big the big guys make the dough. That's how it works, man. It's supply and demand, man. Keanu Reeves and Scarlett Johansson and Ben Affleck are big ace actors. They're big stars. They're going to build a lot of Buster Man movies, hence why they're worth the dough. Whereas Paul, John Cezanne and, and Paul Benny are A-list actors too. They're worth the dough too, obviously. They build some buzz, but they are not. They, they don't build the kind of buzz the other three build, hence why they're not worth as much money. Because they're A-list actors, they're still worth a lot of money. They're worth the dough because they're going to build Buster Man movie, obviously. Whereas the B-list actors nobody cares about. That's why those guys, you pay them their $2.53 million and you pay them $2,000, they don't get squat. And the rising stars, you pay them like five, six, seven million bucks. They don't get squat because they're not, they're not, they're not, they, they don't build that much buzz. They're not iconic actors. The rising stars have a little bit of iconic things, but they don't have the kind of iconic things that the Ada Sackers have. John Mayaga has some value. He did Star Wars, obviously, in Pacific Rim, but he, he, he won't build the kind of buzz guys like Don Cheeto, Idris Alba, and Annie Serkis will build. You see what I'm saying here? And, and, and Digimon Suit, because those guys are all A list actors. You see what I'm saying? Whereas uh, John Baega is not an A list actor. He's a rise. He might think he's an A list actor, but he's not an A list actor, guys. He's a rising star. He knows what I'm talking about. He, he won the Rising Star Award. Yeah, that's how you know I'm right, man. John Baega won the Rising Star Award. Yeah, he's a rising star. He's not an, he's not an A list actor. You think it's a coincidence that I, that I mentioned Rising Stars and he happens to win the Rising Star Award in Hollywood? Yeah, he's a rising star. He's not an A list actor, guys. John Baega's a rising star. As 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 after since Star Wars, you haven't seen John Baega do been do 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 any big budget movies. That's how you know he's not an A's actor. He's been doing a lot of independent movies and and and, and Netflix movies. Because I told you, rising stars, they struggle getting big budget movie roles. But because they have pretty good agents, every couple of years they might be able to land some pretty major roles or or their own franchise for a big budget movie. Because they're rising stars, obviously. But chances are, rising stars they do a lot of independent movies, even television, Netflix movies. And they, and they land some 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 major roles, bigger actors. Sometimes they struggle quite a bit getting vision roles. They're not A's actors. You see what I'm saying? That's how you know if an actor is an A's actor or not. If he struggles landing big vision roles, he he or she is a, is not an A's actor. They're they're B's actors or rising stars. They're B's actors. As rising stars are rare. They're, you're either you're a B's actor or you're an A's actor in Hollywood. If you if you land a lot of independent movie roles, Netflix independent movie roles. And you're doing television, obviously. You're a B-list actor. You're in a small screen, obviously. If you're landing big watch movie roles a, lo a lot or, like, occasionally, you're an A-list actor. Obviously. Because there's some A-list actors who struggle a little bit landing big movie roles. But they're able to land big watch movie roles every one to two years. Those are A-list actors. And there are others who land it with ease. Those are the bigger ones. And some of the small ones, too. Some of the small A-list actors land... B small ace actors land big budget movie, big budget movie roles with ease, but they, they probably have a, they have a bit of competition. They struggle a little bit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Whereas the bigger ones land the roles with ease. They get they get so many offers, and they just they just reject roles. They say, "Hey, hey, you want to do this movie? Yeah, I'll do this movie." You know what I'm saying? "Hey, you want to do this movie? No, I don't want to do this movie." Was the bigger ace who's, "Hey, hey, we're thinking of having you in our movie. You, you we want we want you to come and read for the part. We'll have you compete with two other actors. They might have them compete or something like that." But they're still able to land roles, you see what I'm saying? Because they're A-list actors. That's what separates the A-lister from the B-list act from the B-lister. The A-list actors are the ones who land big budget movie roles pretty easily or very easily. Whereas the B-list actors are the ones who struggle landing big budget roles. They, they can't land big budget roles. They land minor roles, or they land what? They land a lot of major roles for independent movies, or they do a lot of they do television. Those are the B-list actors. Don't hate me, Hollywood actors. I'm gonna keep saying this, guys. 
all you actors in Hollywood, you know if you're a beast actor, you know if you're an ace actor, you know. <laughs> you know, yeah, we know, Ivan, yeah, you know. You know if you're a beast actor, and you know if you're an ace actor, and you know if you're a rising star. If you're someone who's if you're someone who's landed some some major some pretty major roles in in big franchises, but you're struggling to land big but you're you're, you're struggling to get big movie roles, but you're landing television roles and like and independent movie roles and and once in the blue moon you land a big budget movie role with a, with a bigger actor you're obviously a rising star, but those look those guys are rare, obviously, you, the rising stars are the bridge between the biggest actors and, and an ace actors they're, they're, they're the bridge obviously, and the biggest actors are the ones who are what. Who are television stars, independent movie stars, minor roles and big budget movie roles, and and what? And the, the A S actors are the movie stars, the ones who do big budget movies. Those are the A S actors. That's what separates the A listers from the B S actors from the B listers. Hence, I'm gonna be very sure with John Fale. John, I want you going over their IMDb as, I, as that way I know if he or she's a B S actor or not. Because I don't want to pay this fucking B S actor ten million bucks and have he or she rip me off. As B S actors are not worth ten million dollars. They're only worth like two point five. Three million, four million for your movie, these actors, which is a good paycheck. Because in Hollywood, they don't make that. They make like eight hundred grand for their television shows, and 500, 400k for their independent movies. See what I'm saying? I'm easily being with Hollywood. See what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah. So I'm gonna, before I, before I talk about Peter Jackson and all of them real quickly here. Um, I'm gonna talk about um right. Yeah, so I'm going to tell Keanu Reeves, okay, guys, you guys are happy, you signed this massive contract, I'm going to take you out to a nice dinner, you know what I'm saying? In, in Vancouver, you're going to have a nice dinner with me and VJ, obviously, you're going to part up my $300 million advance with the condo, you're happy, you know what I'm saying, you're experiencing that fame, obviously, I recommend you don't tell the other actors how much I paid you. Please, guys, don't do, don't tell them, man, because if you do, you know, if they, there's a high chance, John, there's a high chance what? There's a high chance what um uh, uh there's a high chance even uh John Cezanci and what and Paul Benny might ask me and VJ hey Ivan how much did you pay how much are you paying them man <laughs> they might ask you that hey Ivan how much did you offer those three actors I'm like I'm not I'm guys I'm not telling you how much I'm paying them I even want to know how much you're paying them man look look guys you guys will find out how much I paid them when you watch the documentary after the journey's over no I have not want to know how much you're paying them man because they want to know they want to know they they, they, they want to know I was like, look guys I'm not gonna tell you how much I offered them. You see what I'm saying? It's none of your business. I pay, I often, I, I, you, you sign your contract, they sign their contracts. None of your business, man. And guys, I don't, guys, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want there to be any resentment among you guys. Hence why I'm not going to tell you how much I offered to Canada Reason on them. Because I don't want the other actors being pissed off, man. You see what I'm saying? Because John Cezensky might be pissed off. Paul Benny might be pissed off. Javi Barton might be pissed off when, when, when they see the kind of money I offered those guys. Because I offer them way more than how much I'm paying them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. High chance members of the seven team. The other five might ask John Falcon if Hey, man, how much? How much did Ivan offer you? For for how, how much is Ivan paying you? But they already know. They saw my videos. But they're gonna ask me. Hey, how much is Ivan? The, the, the other five might ask John Falcon if Hey, man, how much is Ivan paying you? Don't said. And John Farrell was like, guys, I'm not gonna tell you how much he's paying me, man. I, I don't wanna hurt, I don't wanna hurt, I don't want you, I don't want I don't want there to be any resentment among among us. I prefer not to tell you guys. Yes, John, I recommend you don't tell the the other five how much I'm paying you. Because they might be resentment. Because even though I'm paying the other five a lot of money, they're making a and they're nice four million off the royalties, eight million off the royalties, and they're making a nice one million, two million your salary, three hundred thousand dollar bonus, five hundred, but it's nothing about how much John Farrell were making, you see what I'm saying? That's why I recommend John, you don't tell them how much I'm, I'm, I'm I, I paid you. Guys, I'm not gonna tell you how much Ivan paid me. I recommend we keep it, we keep it to ourselves. I don't want to hurt your feelings. He said, I don't want to hurt your feelings, yeah, man. I don't want to hurt your feelings. I'm saying, yeah, man. Come on, John, and Dave, tell us, man. How much? I don't know. They go to the bar. They might ask John, Dave, hey, man, how much? What, what contract did you guys sign? For Ivan's company, and John, Dave, was like, oh yeah, we signed a good contract. We, we saw Ivan gave us a deal of a lifetime. Hey guys, all I'm gonna say is that Ivan offered me the deal of a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? And like, Come on, John, Dave, tell us, man. Like, how much is he paying you, man? And John, Dave, like, guys, man, I'm not gonna tell you how much Ivan's Ivan pay us, man. I don't want to. I don't want to. What? I don't want there to be any resentment among us. You see what I'm saying? I don't want. I don't want there to be any resentment among us. I'm not gonna tell you how much Ivan offered us. It's not fair. It's not fair to you guys. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't want you guys to be angry. I don't want you to, to be any resentment among us. Okay, fine, fine. No, fine, no. Yeah, I, it's best that I don't tell you. Good, John, Dave. Do not tell them how much I paid you. Otherwise, some of the members of something might be pissed off. <laughs> what the fuck? Ivan's paying John Dave way more money how much we're making. Yeah, we're making a lot of money. We're not making not even close to the amount of money John Travel and Leave Lawyer are making. Yeah, that's why. Keep your mouth shut. Don't tell them how much I'm paying you. To, to prevent, to prevent what? Resentment among um, among the seventeen. Shut my count here.